Hi, I'm Annie. And I'm Lars. I'll be filling Sam's shoes from now on. And we're back! For season 2 of Playing with Prologue. What have you got for us today, Annie? You know I'm working on a robotic snail. Yes, how's it coming? Oh, there's so many bits of software to install and pieces that have to run. I'm thinking I could use some kind of DevOps uh, tooling, but um, I wish I was something that was in Prolog. Have you looked at Morel? What's Morel? Morel is an open source testing based DevOps system written in SWI Prolog by Lars Enken. It's alpha software, but it's pretty neat. How's it work? I'm new to these systems. I'm not even sure what to call them. I've heard DevOps systems, sysadmin systems, and configuration management systems. Seems like people use all of those terms. But whatever you call it, Morel's a system like Chef or Puppet. In fact, it's deliberately modeled on a DevOps system called Babushka. You define packages with the PKG fact, then you can ask if the package is installed with MET, or ensure it's installed with MEAT. Where do the MET and MEAT come from? You just write them, but often you don't need to write a raw MEAT. Morel comes with lots of predefined MET MEAT pairs. For example, you can define something as an APT package with the package name, and Morel defines the MET MEAT pair. And it's pretty easy to write your own such extensions, they're just MET MEAT pairs themselves. Okay, that sounds neat. Uh, looking at the docs, I just put a Morel Depths directory in my project and define my rules in there. And then uh, I run the Morel commands from the project group. Check it out. I will. Thanks for telling me about Morel. Hey Lars, I've been playing with Morel. How's it going? None of it's in modules. Uh, uh, first, that really disturbed me and I spent a lot of time trying to modularize it, and ultimately I had to decide that it was just kind of left best the way it was. Uh, it uses a lot of multi-file predicates, uh, not just mint and meat and package, but a lot of the helpers that are introduced as well are multi-file, and putting all of those in modules uh, just meant having to module qualify them. So in the end I left it alone. I haven't been able to contact the original author and so I've forked it into my GitHub account. Uh, all I've done so far is, with that is some minor cleanup and uh, I'm planning on doing a little more cleanup in that. Are you liking it overall? Uh, you know, sometimes Jan talks about Prolog's potential as a kind of glue between other languages. Uh, I think Morel's kind of a great demo of that. I like how you can define new classes of dependencies. It's a very good match for Prolog's backward chaining logic. I have some mets where it's impossible to automate the meat. Uh, for example, uh, when you're installing the robot, you have to turn the robot on and install an SD card. And uh, so I build a, a manual type to uh, uh, satisfy those. Uh, I like that there's this kind of large collection of, of pre-built dependencies uh, for common things like Python. Uh, I forked uh, Lars Enkin's uh, Morel Depth repo uh, and as well, and it's got lots of those things in it. Um, Lars also has uh, a several uh, repos on his uh, GitHub. Uh, for things like a StatsD server and great uh, several vagrant related systems um, if people are using those things. I hope it's serving your needs. It is. Uh, thanks for telling me about Morel. Viewers, you can check out Morel at the links below. We'll be bringing out a new episode of uh, every month or so now and if you enjoyed this episode of playing with prologue please like and subscribe it does help and keep playing with prologue